The New York City Helmets to Heart Hat program is among one of the best veterans programs in the United States, something that we can all be very proud of. Returning veterans bring the discipline, skill, and dignity that they have earned over their course of service to our great country, to the workplace. We're very proud in the New York City building trades to be able to help and build futures for so many veterans. And I thank all of you for being here today to continue the great work that we do in New York City Helmets to Hard Hats. My friend told me, he was, he's, he's a 580 guy, he works in a local 580. He told me to apply to Helmets to Hard Hats. And um, I applied, a couple of weeks I got a phone call. And from there I just started doing the process and I just started working. Having a career as a union man means everything. It means stability for my family. It means financial security for, for myself and my family. Uh, it also means that, with that being said, there's a future for my children as well, to be a union member as well, by their father being in the union. After I joined uh, the United States Marines in 2008, I, uh, after medically retiring, I heard of a program called Helms to Heart Ets, uh, through a couple of my veteran friends that were already in the union. And it just seemed to me that the, the local was more like a brotherhood, sisterhood than it is in the military. And um, I just wanted to, you know, do something in my life that would kind of resemble you know, something that I did before that. I'm a cement finisher, so I finish with a trial, make it look nice. It's been good ever since. I, I like it. I'm picking up fast. Being a veteran, making a transition, it was tough for me in the beginning. I was mostly home, you know, all this time looking for a job and everything, but since I got a, a over here, since so I started working, I started moving around, making money and everything, so I don't mind. I, I like being on high rises. It's a beautiful view. That's the good thing about it, too. Especially when you're on the 60th floor, and you start looking down, and, you, and you're one of the first persons to step in this building before they make it residential. It feels good, you know? Uh, the transition from military to civilian was very, very interesting. Uh, I got out of the Marine Corps, heard about the Helmets to Hard Hat program, and uh, I used my military background to get myself into the elevator constructor business, and haven't looked back ever since. Best move I've ever made in my life. I learned this trade through Local One, through the apprentice program. Well, today I was wiring up the uh, top of the car box, which controls the elevator from the controller, which is in the motor room. Uh, all the wires get landed from the, from the controller to the top of the car box. That's how they talk to each other. I love coming to work every single day of my life. Oh, Mateus, hey, welcome back. Hey, what's up, brother? Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. How you How's gentlemen doing? Buddy? Oh, nice and warm, man. It's a little yeah. chilly out here. All right, guys. Take your hot work permit. All right, Jay. Yes. Here you go, son. Jerry, here you go. Matias. Thank you, you sir. Go. As a Helmets to Hard Hats apprentice, I uh, came in through 638 steam fitters. Basically, the breakdown of the steam fitter is uh, working with different systems like HVAC. Uh, sometimes, you know, you work on uh, black pipe, you work on copper, you're welding, you're, you know, fitting pipe uh, with screw pipe. You, you do a lot of different things. So, really, uh, it's one of the most respected trades. There's so many different jobs that you couldn't possibly explain to somebody all the jobs that one, uh, one does in the steam fitter. The transition from military to civilian couldn't be any easier just because I had all these brothers, you know, that had already served before, these sisters, you know, that had served in the military before. So when I came into the local, everybody already knew who I was before I even knew who they were. You know, they, they knew I'd served, they knew my situation with the prosthesis, and of course, as they got comfortable with me, you know, we all ended up like a family, like it is in the military. So when I have a problem, when I have a question, when I have a concern, it wasn't like, hey, you know, you should know this already, you know. It was more like, hey, you could do it this way, or you can do it that way, or they let you do it your way, and then see if it works out. If it doesn't, then they give you a, an alternative. It was good, you know, like, going into the interview, you know, it was just good to know that the Helmets of Heart Ass was like, you know, all military guys. They got you when you got out. That's what it came down to. They had yeah. your back. They, they had your back. Good. You see how he does? There should be a little oh, experience. Yeah. 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 I was a machine gunner, and uh, we were doing a patrol at nighttime. Uh, we had reconnaissance that told us that there was uh, enlaced IEDs in one of the towns in uh, Musicala. Uh, so of course our teams proceeded to go uh, over a wadi, which is a uh, land of water. And uh, once we got into the compound, we had three different teams, an entry team, an overwatch team, and a capture team, uh, just in case we did have enemy combatants uh, inside of the compound. Uh, luckily, we went into the compound, there was nobody there. There was no tracks of any IEDs or anything like that. 
So once we were cleared to go ahead and go to the compound, we started setting up machine guns on a rooftop. Uh, and I told my men to stay put. When I went down to go get the rest of the tripods, I stepped on a 30 pound bomb, um, resulting in losing both legs, blow the knees, broken my pelvis, and shattered my femur. Uh, and of course, you know, that was the moment where it kind of changed my life. Uh, I was very blessed that my men knew what they were doing. Uh, they proceeded to put tourniquets on my, uh, on my limbs and, uh, you know, pretty much saved my life. You know, I owe my life to my men. And uh, after they got me stabilized, they sent me back home to uh, Walter Reed Army Medical Center in D.C. And that's where I proceeded to do rehabilitation and, uh, and do the things that I do today. You're a veteran? Trust me, they got, they got to take care of you. They took care of me, so. The, the support I got from Helmets to Hard Hats was amazing. I was able to just jump right in. I couldn't be any happier to be a part of you know, Helmets to Hard Hats. Uh, to me, if it wasn't for them, I don't think I'd have this job today. I have one thing to say to veterans looking for construction work. Go Union and go to helmetstohardhat.org.